Wait, hang on. I don't recall this part of the memory zone before. What's this? What's down here? Oh god, this is Ravenholm. Oh no. Oh god no. Stanley, it's a collection of reviews from Steam, <laughs> the online video game distributor. I haven't looked at these in years. Oh no! I can't even imagine what's being collecting down here. Surely these reviews were glowing as well, weren't they? Oh god, it's like finding YouTube comments. Honestly, I could not be bothered <laughs> to play this game to full completion. The narrator is obnoxious and unfunny, with his humor and dialogue proving to be more irritating than entertaining. Unfunny! I'm not trying oh. to be funny. I'm trying to make a serious work of art. I suppose I could write up a handful of gags to insert into the Stanley Parable, but the game is already such a densely layered web of profound philosophical insights that I can't even imagine where I'd have the room to stick them. <laughs> yeah, uh, so much feedback takes up too much memory. This is interesting though. I do like that they're taking a stab at this and talking about kind of like video game culture and reviews and things in general. Because reviews are a weird thing. They're literally just someone's opinion of something that you could have loved that they absolutely hated. Like the amount of videos I've uploaded even on my channel, that the, the amount of people who probably hate them. And then it makes you question like, oh man, but I love it. Should I hate it as well? No, enjoy the things you want to love. Who absolutely cares? I've had people be like, I got made fun of for watching Jacksepticeye in my 20s. Because everyone thinks he's like for kids, like, really? Just do whatever you want, man. Have fun. But as someone who creates things, like, every day, this, this is really fascinating to me.